Hi everybody, Steve from Steve's Makerspace, and in this video we're going to be doing simple blueprint edits. We'll make small blocks into big blocks, we'll change the colors of blocks, and we'll change the controller speed. We'll get started right now. So before we get started, I want to say that I am not an expert at blueprint editing. If you're interested in experts in blueprint editing, go visit the Scrap Mechanic Mod Discord. I'll leave a link in the description. First, we're going to start with making a small block into a really big block. So we'll just start with one block and we're going to save it and we'll call it block A. Now we're going to go into our blueprints folder. This is the location. I'm going to leave this in the description of the video so you can go look for that. All right, so make sure you got the most recent on top. We'll open this up. Blueprints.json is what you want to open. If it asks you how to open this, open it with Notepad. So this is what a block looks like. And to make a really big block, the thing we're going to change is this bounds right here. You see it says one by one by one. That's, that's our one block cube. The Z is the height. If we want to make this large, we could just change this to a thousand. And then we go to file, save, and we don't have to close this and we don't have to close scrap mechanic either. Now I'm going to do my lift. Actually, let's do the lift here. And you can see block A is this huge, you probably can't see that, but it's a, a huge stick. So we'll build that. And you see it goes way up there. Let's uh, take it off the left. And it's bouncing. Oh dear, I don't think we're going to be able to hit it. Can we get it off? There we go. But it's, it's pretty hard to uh, make it move. Hold on, I want to get it back on the left. And we'll let it drop. Huh, last time I did this, it went into the uh, ground. Let's get rid of this. We'll go back into the blueprint. And let's make the width, or let's make it 10 by 10. So we save that. And build that. Now we got a 10 by 10 by 1,000 block. There we go. No problem. Let's make it 100 by a hundred wide and only one thick this way and there we go we got us a wall get the idea it's pretty easy so that's making uh, big blocks so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color of something we can stick with this same block let's make it back to um, one by one but this is the color right here. And if we wanted to make this black, we could change this to six twos. One, two, three, one, two, three. So two, 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 whatever that is. File, save, go back into scrap mechanic. And now we have a black block. We could go back in and white is six E's. Three, one, two, three. Now we got a white block. So here is my bunny ride. Let's build that. But let's say I want this bunny to be a different color. Let's do a fresh save on it. Bunny blue, we'll call it bunny blue. And you, you need to do a fresh save, otherwise you're not going to be able to find your blueprint. So we can close that, go back to blueprints, and now you can see there's a new one here. Blueprints. Now, I don't want to change this one at a time. All the E's are the whites, right? And we need blue. No problem. What is the color of blue? How do you know that? I'm going to give you some resources now. This is a site that has the paint colors in Scrap Mechanic. So they're all six digit numbers. Uh, the white and black are the easiest, but all of these other ones have some rather complicated numbers and letters. So here's blue. I'm going to click on that left click and it's going to copy that number into my clipboard. 
So now, I know I'm replacing white, so I'm going to go edit, replace, and I'm going to look for all the E's, e, six E's, and I'm going to replace it with this, which is blue. And I'm going to make sure that I've got wrap around here checked, and I'll do replace all. Now I'll save it. There's Bunny Blue. Done. Say you have a car that you got off of the workshop and it's black car with a white racing stripe. You want it to be a blue car with a red racing stripe. You can do that. But let's say that we want a color that's unique. We don't want to just be limited by the colors that are in the paint gun. What else do we have available to us? So here's a couple of more resources. So at this site, you can put in the name of a color if you want. Say, I want hot pink. And here we have the number for hot pink right here. So I'll copy that back to here. Now I've got to, let's see. Yeah, we'll hit replace here, but I've already replaced this. So let me get this, that's, that's the blue color. I'll copy that, paste it there. Now replace all. So I'm replacing the blue with the hot pink. And here is my hot pink bunny. Now, is this a unique color? Let's look at a couple of blocks in Scrap Mechanic that's available to us. We've got this color. We've got this color. Uh, there's also this, which looks sort of pink that yep yeah. so this doesn't look like any of these it, it's pretty close to this but not the same uh another thing so this site uh you can name a color and then this site you can use one of these things to find a unique color so let's say let's say i want this color whatever that is so I'll copy this down here, go back into the blueprints, paste, we'll copy this or this. So we're replacing hot pink with that dark blue. Replace all, file, save. There we go. Now this is pretty similar to this blue over here. Let's put them next to each other, see if they're actually different. Excuse me, bunny. You go over there. Uh-oh. Oops. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Wait. My other blue bunny went away. Where are you going? Come back. Yes, those are definitely two different colors. And I know I should uh, at least do this. Eee. So that's how you change colors with blueprint editing and scrap mechanics. Now on to changing controller speed. So this controller on the left is a level five controller at max speed. This is the same thing, but at double speed. So it's been blueprint edited to be twice as fast as this one. So let me save this controller A. We'll call it controller A. Go back into our most recent blueprint, edit, find controller has the word time as part of it let's look for the one that's white first so six e's okay here's the white one and the word time after that is right here so here's time per frame with the six e's so that's that's the white controller and notice that this says 1.0 so 1.0 is a controller at max speed before it's blueprint edited. If I look for 222, 222, find that one, that's up here, and time per frame is right here. So this is the blueprint edited version. And notice it hasn't been, I haven't increased this from one to two. I've decreased this to 0.5, I halved it. I know that's 
that's odd, but that's what you have to do when you're changing controller speed. So if I wanted to make this, instead of twice as fast, I wanted to make it four times as fast, I need to divide this by two. So instead of 0.5, it's 0.25. File, save, we build that. You can see that this is now four times as fast as that. Whereas this one was only twice as fast. Let's say you have a bunch of controllers on a build and you're trying to find that one controller. That's why you paint it either white or black because those are easy colors. You know that this is six E's and this is six twos and you can search for those in the blueprint. So if I wanna do, instead of 0.25, we could do it 0.1. That should make it 10 times as fast as the one per frame here. And there we go. Ten times as fast. <laughs> Hold on. Come here. Did I get it? No. It's... I don't know where it went to. Let's make it 0 0.05. No. Let's make it 0 0.01. Before I spawn that in, another little tip. Let's say you want to get into blueprint editing. You want to learn more about uh, things you could save a single item thruster a and then we could go into our blueprints and we can see that this is the blueprint for a single thruster just by itself and what you could do is save various parts by themselves just so you can study this and understand what goes into a single thruster like right here it says level zero, which means that the thruster hasn't been turned up yet. So that's something you might want to do when you're just trying to figure out what things look like in blueprints. So you might be thinking, okay Steve, we can do this in creative mode, but what about survival? So here is a path to the local blueprints in survival mode. These are things that are built in survival out of parts, such as the start area farm shed. And this is also a JSON file. Let's open it with Notepad. And what can we do here? I am not sure what these things are. <laughs> well, let's just make a bunch of things red. It just occurred to me that I better make a backup copy of this blueprint, just in case I'm really screwing things up. So you can just put it somewhere uh, where you remember where it is. And I'll hit File and Save on this. I've changed a whole bunch of things to red. So I'm gonna start a completely new survival world. I'm pretty sure once it's built that you can't change it. Or perhaps when it's loading in a new tile that it, you haven't visited yet. So let's go see what kind of monstrosity I've created. Okay, that's not so bad. But you can see I painted a whole bunch of things red. So that's a thing. There's also a survival import mod that lets you save and import in your creations. Unfortunately, the latest update broke the mod and the modder hasn't had time to fix it as of the time of this recording. But check out my video on the mod. Link is in the description. Hopefully Consolio will get that repaired soon. So that's gonna do it for today. So if you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Join my Discord. Look at all the stuff in the description. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. There it goes. Whee! Steve's Makerspace.